My name is Greg McDonald and the co-founder and president of Bathorium. Uh, Bathorium has a really interesting and unique founding story. So growing up and ever since I can remember, I've always been an entrepreneur. So everything from Kool-Aid stands to selling lemonade, newspapers, uh, catering companies in grade six. Through university, I had a t-shirt business, cheesecakes, bread bakery. And really through all of these ventures, uh, the common theme was creating and definitely uh, delighting my customers, exceeding their expectations. I really wanted to make products and really wanted to make things with my hands that people were uh, delighted with and just like they just exceeded what they thought they were getting in a loaf of bread or a cheesecake or a t-shirt. Um, but focused on my schooling uh, at the University in Toronto um, after, my, after I closed down Wellington Bread, which was my little bakery. Um, it was the summer of 2014 that I was working at a hotel in Toronto and I left to go overseas to Europe and I started in Ireland and I worked my way down to Italy. Uh, when I was in Italy, I checked into this VRBO um, house rental in Italy and uh, so I checked in and I was kind of snooping around and exploring the new, the new place that I was going to spend the next few days in and I went into the uh, master suite, the owner's suite. And she had this beautiful bathroom and in the bathroom, there was this gorgeous clawfoot tub underneath the window. And right next to it was a, a shelf cabinet, I call it an apothecary, um, full of all these little jars of oils and butters and salts. And so I was very curious. So I started smelling and um, just kind of opening everything up and smelling it and experiencing it. And uh, she came in and she was like, can I draw you a bath? And um, before that, I'd, I'd loved baths. I'd taken baths um, weekly for, since I was a little boy, and uh, but I never really cared what I was using. I would use Shoppers Drug Mart stuff. I would use No Name um, beads. I didn't really care what was in the bath. I really didn't know any different. Um, so she's like, can I draw you a bath? And I said, yes, that would be great. I've been in hostel showers for the past six weeks. So she starts drawing in this bath and she's adding in coconut milks and uh, different essential oils and clay and she had a big clunk of um, cocoa butter and she was shaving it under the hot running water and I got into this bath and it was my like Oprah aha moment where I knew that that experience is what I had to bring back to Canada. It was decadent, it was indulgent and it was like I had never had a bath to that caliber in my life and then that just became the 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 base for all bathroom formulation um, to date and everything that bathroom creates is decadent indulgent and exceeds your expectations